Welcome back to my animal education series. Today I'm here with Joel. Hello. How you doing? What do we have here? So we have African Attix antelope here today. Um, this is actually the first time I've worked with this species. This is a desert species. Uh, so these guys adapted for not really having the avail availability of a lot of food and water. So a lot of their food, just like tortoises, a lot of that vegetable matter, they're going to get a lot of their water needs through what they eat. And they can go a long time without eating and drinking. But also, another adaptation that these guys have, if you notice right now, uh, right now where we are, we're in the summer months. These guys are white. They have their white fur. So just for, for that adaptation, in the summertime it gets very, very hot. White uh, reflects uh, heat and light. So in the summertime, these guys are going to have this real nice white coat to um, reflect that summer heat to keep them a lot cooler. And then in the winter time, these guys will shed that fur and they'll have a way darker color. Uh, so when it's colder out, it's enabled them to absorb more of that heat really. And another animal that does that, uh, that is a good example, would be a polar bear. A polar bear actually has, people don't know that, black skin. So when it gets really cold up there in the Arctic areas, that black skin is going to soak up that light. And when they get too much heat from that, their white fur is going to retract that. Um, so they can kind of keep their body temperature regulated that way. Now these guys as antelope, these guys actually get pretty big. These are antelope uh, that aren't at their full size right now, but these guys will get up to 200 pounds. And that's actually really big for these antelope. Um, usually they're around 100 pounds or so. And these guys are gonna have a lot of predators. Uh, these guys are gonna have predators like hyenas, you have lions, you have cheetah that are going to prey on these guys. So these guys, um, their eyes are made so they can really look around that whole area and get almost like a 360 degree view of whatever animal is going to be in that area. Now when these guys do have uh, calves, they have a gestation of about nine months before that calf is born. These guys also have, uh, you can tell those two sets of horns, pretty sharp. Uh, th those, they use those horns um, combative reasons with each other for dominance, but also if animals are trying to prey on these guys, they're going to use these horns to kind of jab at them for protection as well. And these guys are young, but you can see they're, they're growing pretty well. Um, these, guys, these horns are growing sections, basically. Uh, it's made of keratin, just like our fingernails, is what these horns are made of. Uh, every once in a while, they're also use them for chewing as well. These guys are brothers, these two. These guys also, one other thing with these guys is the urine is um, highly concentrated uh, because of being desert animals and um, that basically is going to keep that water inside of them, keep their water needs limited so they don't need to drink as much. Well thank you so much Joel for telling us about the attitudes. Oh you're very welcome. Thanks for coming to Animal Adventures today. Mm -hmm. Absolutely.